Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1 and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new P102-100 from Nvidia. This is a mining graphics card but for my opinion this graphics card is not the best to buy. Okay so first of all what do you need to know about this graphics card? Well it's pretty ugly um, it uses 250 watts TDP that is probably going to be 200 watts doing 47 megashes per second so if we compare that that's almost the same as an AMD Vega just mining at 44 megashes per second and the price is also pretty expensive so it's about 600 or 750 dollars at the start and they're not going to start mass production until the third quarter of 2018. Meanwhile, they are releasing the new 2070s and 2060s like next month. So when the time you get these graphics cards at your mining rig or mining farm, they're probably going to be a waste of money. So I'm just warning you guys not to be too excited about this graphics card because it's going to be short term for sure. Because we have seen a mining performance of a V100 and even the Tesla V100s. If you didn't, just check out those videos. If you keep in mind that the Titan V and the Tesla V100 are crazy on mining hash rates, we can imagine that the 2060s and 2070s with probably GDDR6 memory are going to be even better. And they are only using about 100 watts of mining power. Compared to this graphics card doing 200 plus, probably mining 47 or 50 mega ashes per second. So this is going to be really interesting for people that are going to buy these graphics cards and having only one month of warranty. That is also something I really didn't want to see on those kind of graphics cards. It just feels like a little bit of Nvidia trolling us. So if this was about $300, I would definitely recommend them. And you could mine them until they die and hopefully they have their return of investment after one month of mining. Because the heatsink on this graphics card was so small that I was like, okay, these two fans are probably not going to cool them very well at those hash rates and power consumption. So keep that in mind, just watch out and don't get too hyped too much on new kind of hardware until you test them and if you really see results. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.